Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and it is Sunday, which means it's time for another one of our mailbox cleanouts for our two realms where we do our two in a run series. Um, as you've seen this past uh, weekend, we finished up ZF, uh, so we are far ahead. Uh, but if you've been following along, you'll know that we are currently just posted, you know, Dire Mall North this past week in our cells uh we will be posting the mechanar this week coming up uh so we need to go ahead and get through our cells this week see how well we did after adding diamond north to our cells and so we can get some of that stuff from mechanar up on the auction house and hopefully by adding two dungeons now and we had some in the very beginning but um two dungeons from outland will actually have a decent amount of stuff there to get some sales from outland which we've actually been seeing some of those items sell already um but yeah it seemed like we weren't really getting too much out of the, those dungeons when we were running them on stream not to say because we do have the loot video coming out tomorrow for uh mechanar itself uh but anyway guys uh just a quick review of everything here um as you see here we are now uh just completed zf so we'll be starting masters uh terrace next for two hundred runs if you've been following along on stream uh you'll be able to see us do these runs live and see some of the drops live uh you'll actually notice that this week we actually start working on like a side project of doing 1000 runs of just like those rare dungeons uh where they have very odd chances of getting anything so we started doing ultimate this weekend figure that was the best one to start out with with that series uh and we'll only do that you know work on that as we are you know far ahead like this and um you know if we get to where we're kind of falling behind we'll definitely you know be getting back to the two and a run series um and keep that going uh but anyway we do have stuff just sitting in the guild vault right now that we can't even post so it makes more sense to actually start working on something else at the same time uh with that being said, a uh, quick review. We have been doing quite well. We had one week where we were kind of, you know, low right after Manitou's. I think that had a lot to do with the Plunder Storm event. It could, it could have been that, you know, uh, just a bad week for Transmog. You have those too. Uh, but we have been around the 200,000 uh, range, sort of right here after BFD, uh, sometimes even above. Uh, so we'll see if we can get around there this week uh, after adding Diamond North. And this is not to be confused saying that all we did was get sales uh, or this dungeon brought us this much gold for the week for sales uh it's just saying that we added that dungeon that many more 200 runs worth of loot to our uh you know inventory and it allowed us to increase our sales by this much uh so that's the only reason why we're kind of tracking it this way um as we you know we don't really need a total amount because we already have the total amount here that we've made uh which we are now uh at 1.7 million gold made so far which leaves us with eight point a little well almost 8.3 million left to make uh, in order to hit our goal, which is gold cap. Uh, we are do we did actually make 212,000 last week, so we'll see if we can beat that this week. Uh, majority of that was in transmog, you see, we had almost 2,500 in materials, which majority of the farms will be that way. Some of the farms have actually given us more materials uh, than others, you know. Definitely Dire Mall East when we first did that one. We also, you know, uh, Manitoum's actually had some, uh, you know, uh, material, uh, you know, value as well. And then we also had uh, Iron Docks with the auction control module. So some of them give you some uh, material stuff, but really it's not many. Uh, we are doing this again on two different realms, Proudmore and Thrall. Uh, do run a line Druid with, you know, doing 100 runs on that one. Uh, Thrall has 100 runs on my Horde Druid. Um, and the reason why we do that is so we can continuously run those dungeons. It's not really uh, to keep everything separate. It's just you, know, you get locked out after 10 runs. So in order to keep going, we run two uh, druids. So we also do two realms. Uh, and it does make it nice because we can kind of trade items between each other and actually have two realms to post on. Uh, so far, uh, last week, Thrall did actually do a little bit better than Proudmoore uh, at 136,000 versus 76,000. Uh, but so far, Proudmoore has actually overall done better, but uh, they were almost 100,000 
<laughs> more than Thrall, but Thrall has been catching up. As you see now, they're only about 20,000 behind Proudmoore. So we'll see if Thrall will do it again and actually get a little bit closer to Proudmoore this week or, you know, vice versa. But again, it is a joint effort to just get us to gold cap uh, so as soon as we possibly can and how fast it will be. Although we are not just throwing loot from our dungeons as we complete them, we're still trying to track how the cells improve by only adding one set of loot um, each week from each dungeon. Uh, with all that being said, I uh, just want to mention definitely if you are looking for any guides and you want to look away from like YouTube and things, just maybe go uh, take a look over at gaminghero.io and check it out. See if there, there's anything informative there for you that you could possibly use. And if you do decide to try to check out or want to check out some of the premium guides just make sure that you use the code word potato so you get a little bit of a discount there uh anyway let's go ahead and dive right into our very first uh bank alt here which i did do the right one this time <laughs> it's our low value bank alt for Browmore. so let's go ahead and see if they got any sales this week and we do we got some sales so good good 19 cells, 22,179 gold. So at least we are over the average of 1,000 you know, gold per cell. Of course, that doesn't mean that we sold everything for at least 1,000. You see a lot lower here, but uh, we do actually have an average of at least 1,000 per cell. Now this is low value stuff. So um, it's, you know, still it's not bad uh, as long as we can keep it above that 1,000 average per cell course a lot of these items i'm sure we would like to have made a lot more but it is just stuff that's on the verge of going to the vendor somewhat some of the stuff maybe quite not so because you know it is anything under twenty thousand. but still uh let's see what we did sell so, uh steadfast gloves for over four thousand. the uh nat pagel book from dire Ball. So uh, that came from one of my Dire Maul runs. So you could easily say it's still from the first one because I still had a ton left over. And we just got a whole lot more as well. So uh, really not stressing the fact that it only sold at almost 5,000 gold. Uh, shard back. Shield, or not the shield here. But phasing boots sold for over 1,000. A couple of very low stuff here. Uh, still nice. I mean, all this stuff adds up eventually. You know, you see Dagger Jaw. I believe that came from like Drac there and Inside uh, stuff that comes from Iron Docks. Uh, Sawstone Shoulder sold for two thousand. Um, that could have came from Dire Maul, possibly, or it could have came from our RFD runs. Uh, Devious Scale Cloak Pattern, uh, almost two thousand gold. That came from uh, Welling Caverns when we did that. So still selling some of that stuff. Um, and then just some other little stuff. Ceremonial leather harness, shard back shield that also came from Iron Docks as well. Still very low on that, but, uh, but still, again, it's just low value transmog. But still, 22,179, not bad starting out. So we'll go ahead and add that to our list here. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll have some, uh, you know, better stuff on, you know, some sales on our high value bank tune too. All right. I already got that add in. Let's go ahead and clean that out. And we'll switch over to our high value bank tune where hopefully we have some exciting stuff. Screen here. All right. And we do. We've got six sales at 72,484 with high value. You might hope for more than that with six sales, but let's see what we got here. So, pattern for the Mooncloth shoulder sold for 7,000 gold. Um, a schematic for Mayhem projection goggles. So, I'm pretty sure that came from Sunwell, maybe. Um, 22,000. So, we're still selling stuff possibly from uh, Sunwell, almost 23,000. Recipe for Thistle Tea sold for 15000 Now that came from some of our lock boxes. Uh, Century's Gloves came uh, sold for 7000 gold. Another recipe for Thistle Tea. Again, lock boxes. That's where that's, those are coming from. 15000 gold. And then a Robe of Insight for ah, just below 5000 gold. We'll hope for more with the Robe of Insight. Uh, somewhere possibly around like 40000 gold at least. Um... Uh, but it's, it's still a sell. We got it. Uh, that I believe came from B, uh, BRD when we did that one. Um, and then uh, Century's gloves. Uh, I mean, that probably came from like RFD or 
uh, BFD or something like that. Um, Mooncloth Shoulders, maybe BRD as well. I, I can't really recall exactly where we got those from. Uh, but yeah, not bad. At least we got some gold, almost 100,000. Or, well, I, mean, I guess it's still a little ways off from 100,000. But I'm pretty sure that's better than what they did last week, though. 72,484. Of course, it could have been a lot better if we would have actually gotten a uh, better sell on the Robo Insight. I mean, pretty much everything else here I'm kind of okay with, other than the Robo Insight. I really wish we would have gotten a little bit more than that. I mean, even like, I guess like 30,000 would have been even better uh, but it happens we do sell stuff for a lot cheaper uh sometimes and depend on the realm and problem where you know it's pretty well known for things selling pretty cheap it's really nice when we do sell something for a little bit higher on this realm uh but anyway we'll go ahead and clear clean that out as well and then we've got our materials bank off before we switch over to our hoard bank tune and see if we got anything which actually we should have um some okay sales with materials because of those uh caches that we you know got with um doing dire mall east or not dire mall east but not dire mall north uh they actually dropped a lot of materials so and we do we got 28 sales at 12,718 gold uh so let's see we did we sold uh heavy scorpion scales 83 of them for almost 4,000 gold wow wow that's actually really nice that's that's not bad at all uh that's kind of surprising i didn't expect that much <laughs> out of those um wild vine 12 of those sold for uh 5500 uh let's see here fell cloth sold 26 of those for over a thousand some thick leather some worn dragon scales uh just some other little low stuff here but yeah not bad 12,718 gold um for proud Morse portion with materials at least I'm surprised with the scorpion scales and uh i didn't expect to really see that one i don't even remember if i saw <laughs> remember seeing those in the bag uh but yeah pretty awesome pretty awesome well starting off pretty good guys we are currently already over a hundred thousand so as long as we can get over a hundred thousand with raw uh we'll you know be at that range of two hundred thousand uh and if we can do any more than that then just you know great <laughs> we'll uh we'll uh possibly even see a three hundred thousand week that'd be pretty awesome all right guys so here we are now on thrall we're on our low value bank tune uh for uh thrall for our 200 run series uh so anyway uh we have our sales here we've got 20 sales at 30,738 gold. So they actually did better than Proudmore did. Pretty nice, uh, seeing that we are well above that 1,000 gold per sale average. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Again, we sold one of the books as well, uh, the Nat Pagel books. So very nice to see some of those moving. Uh, only got 3,000 for this one. I think it was a little higher over on Proudmore for that. Uh, they have been selling pretty low on thrall although i think thrall did uh they had a, a couple weeks where they were selling like a few for around three thousand, and maybe even less and then we had one week where we sold one for like right at 30 some thousand gold uh then we sold the stalvin's reaper that coat came from brd almost two thousand gold i can't quite remember i know we also got some from rfk uh out of the chest because we got like three um, actually, I think that's where that came from, was uh, um, RFK, because uh, we actually got like three in like one run out of the chest, so it was pretty cool. Uh, Prospector Boots uh, sold one of those for almost 13,000 gold, so really nice sale there for a low value piece. Um, sold the Warp Scale Vest for 1,800, uh, Gold Thorn Tea Recipe for 1,000, again, that's from RFD, you get one, you can get one every single run you do. Uh, the nat pagel book again a little bit less for this one almost three thousand gold so we sold a couple of them uh still have plenty see we got some here we've got some in the bank so we've got plenty uh we've actually got what uh 27 of them here and then on our alliance team we still got 35 of them so yeah we've got plenty <laughs> i mean that's what over 60 of these 62 books yeah uh so we've got a lot left to go um 
so yeah not bad at all and then just some some low stuff aboriginal arcanai uh searing needles you know just low low stuff actually uh, oh i thought we sold a second stalvin reaper actually <laughs> that was just one uh so yeah not bad really nice on the prospector boots though uh i feel like the prospector boots and the chest are actually some really good sales that uh, you know see those quite often uh not just on these two bank or you know these two realms but on my other realms as well uh so yeah not bad not bad at all uh, i'll go ahead and add that to our sheet now about eight thousand above primer so they're beating primer there we'll see if they can beat them on the high value side too and that would be really good um let's see all right clean that out Let's go ahead and log over to High Value Transmog and see if they've got some exciting sales over here. It'd be nice if it was over a hundred thousand. <laughs> All right, and two sales. Um, so less sales, but actually more. So it means they still they did a lot better than Problem. We're seeing that they only got two sales, and it's a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> what problem we had with more sales because that means on average is more value per sale so uh we got a big sale here actually so really nice to see a big sale we sold the bone slasher for 80 almost eighty one thousand gold now that uh that's from rfd i'm pretty certain that was the rfd item uh, not sure if we got any more hopefully got one up on the auction house so maybe we have one more uh and then mr alarms grip that came from brd only seventh uh that's kind of hurtful because that's over like a hundred thousand i think for that item <laughs> only sold for seven thousand gold somebody probably uh baited me into sell selling that that does happen you kind of have to watch out for that which i am horrible for because i can't really catch that kind of stuff because i'm just trying to get through it i'm posting on both accounts at the same time and i'm i'm just you know throwing stuff up there um uh, you know some things catch my eye and then i do also have you know limits as far as how low i'll go um but yeah i guess it wasn't low enough for this to go for seven thousand gold so if, at over a hundred thousand we're looking for at least like fifty thousand gold for this item uh so at least like around half um but yeah <laughs> seven thousand uh it's pretty low for that but really nice sell on the bone slasher definitely excited about that item right there so we'll still take it though uh and i know we do have some more bone slashers i just don't know if they're all in my alliance tune or if they're over here as well 887 875 uh still not bad for two sales though um getting over 87 almost 90 000 gold uh so yeah let's go ahead and clean that out and last but not least uh we'll go ahead and take a look at our materials and hopefully that's around the same range it could be a you know actually a bit different this time because i believe a lot of the materials came from those caches uh so it really could be more rng based than most materials um even though materials still have a little bit of rng factor anyway um i think you know, about three thousand less uh nine thousand three hundred fifty one gold 30 sales for the materials should be similar items though 13 wild vine for almost 6,000 gold. So I actually had more wild vine than we did on our alliance too. I don't see the scorpit. So <laughs> that's, that's the thing that's not pointing out. Maybe I didn't get any of those scorpit things or I just didn't get that many. Um, yeah, because that, that was a pretty big one on the alliance was those heavy scorpit scales or whatever. Yeah, I'm not even seeing any. Hopefully I didn't vendor them. Uh, 18 fell cloth, 689. I believe we had a bigger fell cloth sell over there on the alliance as well uh yeah and there's some low stuff got some dragon scales and things but yeah let's go ahead and get that recorded here so i think that's where it might have hurt us a little bit over here so we have those scorpion cells like we did on the alliance um but anyway not bad not bad still better than a lot of our material you know sales with our other dungeons uh but anyway that is going to be our last big alt. So let's go ahead and get our sheet back up here and go ahead and look over everything. Um, so transmog this week we made 213,276 gold, only 3,000 more than we made last week. Um, we did make a you know about 20,000 more, almost 20,000 more on materials though, 22,069 gold, uh, which brings us to a total for the week at 235,345 uh, for our gold this week. 
and you know that's above what we made last week so we went up that's good you know would have liked to have seen another 300,000 week but still um not bad for you know we, we we're right around that 200,000 range and we still saw an increase so i'll take it uh we're almost now at one or two million gold uh we're at one million nine hundred fifty one thousand nine hundred eighty one gold made so far so we're right at about eight million gold left to make to get to our you know 10 million goal here so far in transmog alone now we've made one million six hundred ninety one thousand eight hundred thirty two gold uh for materials we have now made two hundred sixty thousand one hundred forty nine gold and as far as our realms go thrall did they actually did do better then Proudmore once again, uh, 107,381 gold versus 127,964 gold, uh, which now, nope, Proudmore is still ahead. Just barely though, just barely. Look, 976,348 gold compared to 975,633 gold. So it's not even a thousand gold difference here. So the, you know, the big one will be next week when we, after we add the Mechanar to see if uh, Thrall can pull ahead or is Proudmore going to get to where they're, they're actually making bigger sales this week coming up. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and put our value over here next to Darmon North. Uh, which is 235, 344 is how much we made this week. And yeah, so nice to see, uh, you know, we, we saw a steady increase here. Uh, we did have a really good week here. So really not too, you know, sad about seeing a drop here already, which this was still a really good week, which is right under 300,000 and then 193. And then, uh, we saw really bad drop here after man the tubes but again i think that had a lot to do with the plunder storm event cells were just bad all the way around i mean even in my other realms cells were pretty low um and then uh you know rfk went back up to 212 and then we got 235 and now we'll see what happens when we add in mechanar and see if we actually see some high sales be really nice to see some more of those high value items sell like we did with bone slasher today uh but anyway guys that is all i have for this clean out video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button so i know you guys are enjoying these videos and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one coming out and you don't miss the mechanar loot video coming out tomorrow every sunday is the clean out monday's the loop video uh for you know the next dungeon to be posted uh and also if you guys get a chance uh definitely come and join us on twitch you can see these runs done live we are working on like a side project right now with our 1000 run series um but yeah we'll also be getting back to the 200 run series as well uh it's just while we're ahead i figure i'll do a little something extra uh and also if you guys are looking for any guys don't forget about gamingherohero.io uh but anyway i will see you guys later on stream and I hope to see you guys in the next video see you guys later